Hello everyone, this is Mike Bergenes with the Southern Forestry Consultants and today I'm going to show a short video on how to save time and simplify using an integrated approach to forestry GIS and really what I'm trying to show today is is the purchase stumpage world or wood dealerships and people that that buy tracks and harvest timber so I'm going to kind of show that end to end and how all these pieces and parts can fit together as one and, and just get rid of a lot of headaches um, that you run into when you're, um, especially when you're trying to operate at scale, your, your organization with a lot of moving parts and a lot of harvest and crews going on. So without further ado, I'll jump right in. And um, uh, what I'm showing today uh, is built around ArcGIS Online, Esri's technology. And so here's a web map. We've got a track in here. And um, I'll flip over and I'll show um, ArcGIS Pro. It's got the same um, data and tracks. It's got the um, parcels, North Carolina parcels in here. And that comes from the state of North Carolina. And, um, and then if I also go over to um, my iPad being shown here, and I get the same um, data being shown in field maps. Okay? And so um, we'll go ahead and... Um, We'll kind of start with field maps and, and add this, this say this area um, that maybe we're bidding on, we're trying to acquire, and um, start there, and we'll get a cruise onto this. So, um, let's see here, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and draw my track then. So I'm going to pick the stand layer at a point, and uh, get this guy in. Looks like there's some snapping there. That's pretty darn cool. So we can line up even in field maps with um, another layer. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Okay. And you could do this with GPS as well. Uh, I'm not near this track, so that's not real easy for me to do. Okay, I'm going to give this guy an uh, identifier. So this stand ID could be like a track name, track ID, or something that uh, uniquely identifies it. I don't have to put acres and stuff like that in. I'll, I'll show, you, show you why in a minute. And um, let's go ahead and submit this edit. A lot of this can be done offline as well. I, I, I'm needing the device to be online right now. Uh, the North Carolina parcels will not function offline, but you can have this um, <clears throat> track layer be editable offline. That's not a problem. All right. So we've got this new track here. And uh, let's flip back over and just show. He shows up in Pro. Let me turn off the parcels just to get the clutter out of the map here. And here's that track starting to draw. You can see the ID and the acres automatically calculates. So there's some neat things we can do there um, just to automate stuff. And um, if I go over now, um, we'll go over to the Cruise app. And let's have that parcel or that track show up. Okay. So <clears throat> we're ready to um, go ahead and, and uh, put a cruise onto this particular area. Okay. And this is Prism. And um, Prism is a web app and has a mobile app. We can have any kind of plot applied to this, this stand, any kind of grid size. <clears throat> All right. I don't want to put that many plots in. That's going to be too much work. So there we are, and uh, he's ready to go. And once I do this, um, whoops, I jumped over to another spot here. Once, I, uh, once these plots are there, they're ready to function offline on the Prism mobile app. So... Um, I'll go over there in that same iPad that I have uh, running. Okay. Let's flip to uh, Prism. And you can see the Prism plots are showing up automatically. Nothing to do there. No shape files to, to mess around with or anything like that. So I'm in the Prism mobile app, and uh, I want to go ahead and get that job, my purchase tra tracks job <clears throat> with that area onto the device. And since Prism's designed to work offline, we, we go ahead and we just hit synchronize and, and pull that job. And that way, Prism can go out in the woods, you can work all week, and just synchronize um, when you're connected again. 
the Prism and Field Maps I've shown can work on Android devices, phones. Um, I'm on an iPad here, but it'll function on any of those devices. So let's see here. Where's that guy? There he is. So here's our new track that we uh, that we want to cruise, put a bit on it. And I'll go ahead and I'm just going to, just for the sake of brevity here, put a couple uh, trees in. This is all configurable. We set this up a lot of different ways for a lot of different folks that, that cruise different ways. I'm just going to do real quick and dirty here, maybe two plots. There's a couple, couple trees, couple plots. Oops. You can't put bad data in Prism. You can prevent that. You can do merchable height, total height, doesn't really matter. And uh, let's just do, let's copy this tree and make a, uh, a pulp wood. Just for the sake of things. Okay. All right. So we're done. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, since we're offline, hit the save button. All right. So giving him a second sync, and <clears throat> those two plots that I visited will turn green. Just one second here. All right, those plots are green. And so at this point, you know, your, your tree tally is back and you can see what your inventory is. Okay. So I'm just, just a simple inventory report. This again is configurable, um, different equations, board feet, cords, whatever you want to do. Um, but that's not what this is about today. I'm not going to get too deep on this. Um, we've just gone through setting up a new track. Anybody, anybody in your team can see that track. Anybody can put a track in, you can cruise it, and you can do this with minimal steps. And then kind of the final part of all this is, okay, you see the, the, uh, the plots are green in here. Everybody and all these tools are all looking at the same data and information in real time. And uh, I, the, what makes it pretty neat here is if we purchase this track and we're going to harvest it and monitor it, I've got the planet imagery in here. There's April 23rd imagery. And we can monitor the depletion and the progress on this track remotely. And, and we can even see this, um, make maps of this. Um, we can allow other folks to, to, to see the imagery and the tracks from other devices and other places, wherever they're doing work. So, um, yeah. So that is a uh, real quick and dirty on um, kind of the purchase um, track side of things and, and just how you know, today we can, we can simplify how you run a business and um, have this information that, that you need to, to do that. So thanks for watching and see you next time.